Hi, I'm Jack. And I'm Tanner. Welcome to the Backroad Diaries. Few would say running a farm is easy, even in the best of years. Fewer yet would say running a small, organic farm on the edge of the Metro Vancouver area is a simple task. But those who know about the Glen Valley Organic Farm Cooperative would say it's worth the effort. When it started in 1998, Glen Valley Organic Farm made a small but mighty stand against growing urbanization trends of the greater Vancouver area and the rise of industrial agricultural practices. The original members of Glen Valley formed a cooperative, bought the property, and leased segments of the land to would-be farmers who wanted to try their hand at smaller scale organic farming. Originally from Saskatchewan, Chris Bodner is one of these farmers. He lives on the farm with his wife Paige and their three children. Together they run a small farming business called Close to Home Organics that thrives due to their hard work and the foresight and commitment of Glen Valley's original member shareholders. That whole cooperative model has meant that there's a group of 50 shareholders who really want to see the farm maintained as an organic agricultural farm supplying produce to local communities. For farmers like ourselves, what it means is affordable access to land. And so the co-op has really served a purpose of making sure that the land is available to people to farm uh, and they don't have to worry about how to make the mortgage payments, how to keep a job off farm. We're able to farm full time. And at the same time, uh, the cooperative vision sees a larger purpose in terms of our involvement in the, the larger community, in sustainable agricultural discussions and education. And so it provides a community benefit as well. The feedback we get, it's not just about getting produce, but it's about understanding how that produce was grown, where it's coming from, and what the, what the positive impacts of, of food choices can be when uh, people look at the larger community that they're supporting with their food dollars. Peggy Vogler, owner of Aphrodite's Pie Shop in Vancouver, is one of those consumers. In 2003, her dad started the business after living on Glen Valley Farm and seeing firsthand the benefits of a farm-to-table relationship. Almost 20 years later, the pie shop is Glen Valley's largest rhubarb buyer and longtime supporter. I feel like we, we really need to um, support local organic farming. We need to make sure that our food has the smallest ecological footprint possible. And you know, right now, whether it's organic or not, we're, we're shipping our produce across the world. And it doesn't make sense when we live in this amazing fertile area right here in Vancouver. We can do a lot to buy our, our food locally. Part of the sustainability aspect in terms of the, the co-op owning the land is that we don't have a pressure to have every square foot of the farm under production. So we have one area, eight acres of forest, that we recognize its best purpose is being kept as eight acres of forest. Just because a piece of land isn't actively farmed doesn't mean that it's not part of the ecosystem of the farm. And not having a profit imperative on every square foot of the farm means that we're making decisions in the long-term benefit of the farm. Farm Folk City Folk is a BC organization that promotes the development of sustainable farming. For FFCF Communications Director Michael Maripes, Chris and Glen Valley Co-op do more than just promote sustainable farming. Glen Valley Organic Farm is really significant, firstly because it's just a beautiful piece of farmland. And Chris has become an excellent farmer. You know, we all need the mentors and he's been a great mentor for a lot of people getting into this. You know, the farmland doesn't just belong to the farmer. The far farmland belongs to the community. And they've been very good at that. I, I have a lot of respect for that. Always we ramble that river and I all along your green valley I'll work till I die my land I'll defend with my life if it be cause my pastures of plenty must always be free